Oh yeah, me again. So what I'm doing today is I'm gonna put this cable now through the framework and uh, get the motor fitted. So all I do on the end there is put a bit of tape, a bit of insulation tape just to make sure nothing drops down into my wiring. Sorry about that. I had a battery issue with the old GoPro there then. So anyway, it's just a matter of Feeding it up so I can see it. Obviously there's a gear cable in there, so it's, it may get caught here and there. But I can just, just see it right here now. It's right there. I've just got to go and get one of my picks and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been and got a, an array of picks just to get the cable out of the end here. I moved the bike up a bit closer to the camera so you can see it a bit better. It's a bit of a fiddly old number. Sometimes you can get it first time. Obviously I've done quite a few of these. But it is it is fiddly getting it out of this end. As you can see it's just there. But it is like I say, it is very awkward getting it out. Sometimes the other hole here helps. So you can push it about a bit. It is a bit hard to get out because obviously I don't want to be pressing on any of the other stuff here. On the uh, last bike I did, it was a lot easier because I actually had a hole back here so it basically came down the frame straight out so I know this one's going to be a bit fiddlier it's, it's actually finding a feel for it so it's like so I can bend it if you know what I mean I can't actually feel the cable yet I think I've nearly got it. Wow. And there it is. So as you can see, now a lot of this cable is going to go back in. And a lot of the cable down at the bottom is going to go back in as well and that's a maneuver in itself anyway so now i've got that i'm basically pull myself out a bit like that because i've got to feed all this back in once the motor is installed plus i need to put this nut in here i'll show you that now you use a nut insert kit for doing that I'll show you, I'll actually show you what a nut insert, in kit, insert kit is, just in case you've never seen one before. 
So basically you've got these special things. It's, it's like what you would get to hold a water bottle, water bottle cage on. So here you go. That's a nut insert kit. And I've already prepped a load of them ready to go in. So basically it's a straightforward job. All I've got to do is fit that in there. Take this nut out of this bolt out of here, obviously. But yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you on this one and then I'll show you all, all the other ones that I'm going to put in later. Straightforward enough job. I've already set the bike up, set it all up, ready to go. So I got all the right fittings because you got lots and lots of different fittings for these. But yeah, straightforward enough. Do them up nice and tight like that. So you won't go nowhere. Oh, actually, I've got him set the wrong way. Hang on a sec. Right, remove him. Right, there you go. Now, he will go on a lot further. So there you go. And it, it, I can't remember the, the other piece of kit, but there's another piece of kit which is very similar to this. So it's just put that there. Give him one tighten up. Like that. You can only give it one. That's it. That's as far as it goes. You can like mess with them and all that if you like but this does this does the trick for me so there you go straightforward enough unscrew them out if I'm turning it the right way yeah I am I wasn't sure then But there you go, straightforward enough, you see, and that's in there nice and solid now, ready for the motor install. So basically the next bit is get the motor in really, get the motor in and see where we are with it. Now as you know if you've been following my videos, you've seen me actually prepping all the motor for the install, how it's all going to go. So there's a, obviously a bit of lining up to do on it and stuff like that. But it's all, it's all ready. So he's going to go in there like that. I've got to mess with this little cable here just to get it up over flush. That's him. What I'll do is I'll put these in these on first just to keep it in place so I've got all the bits here somewhere there we go When you're fitting this piece, just make sure you've got like the uh, got this piece the right way round, so it digs in. It's got to dig into your framework, okay? But it's straightforward enough, and both Fang themselves have done a real real good job of this uh, bit of modernisation on the on the actual part of the engine because the actual things the other bolt holes they're bang on I don't need to actually put anything there at all it's really good so this clip will go there and I've got a choice how to put him I can put him the other way if I like what I'll do is uh, I'll turn the bike around so as you can see how how I actually bolt it how I'm actually bolting it up because you can't see from that angle just 
bear with me. So what I did is I moved the whole bike around so you can get more light. I would have liked to have done this outside but it's absolutely freezing here in the UK and uh, I don't fancy getting frozen to death out there but yeah straightforward enough so I've got to check again my wires before I go for a full install that one I'm doing away with that's got to stay out that's the battery one, so all the ones I need behind are behind. So I basically put this bolt in just to keep it steady. So now I can remove this piece of insulation tape I put on here. So that I can actually get the uh, install going. And like I said, this bit of tape basically is just to protect the wires. They do, as, you, as anybody knows who's done these motors, they, get, they actually come with a protector cap on them. But it, it's too thick. I didn't want to drill the hole as big as the connector, as big as the protector, sorry. So basically, do your lining up, do your push fit. And what I'll do is, because this is in the frame and you never see it again, I'll insulate this. With insulating tape and it'll just be you know just for peace of mind really so a nice bit of tape on there oh that didn't go well take the rock core out there let's try again let's start fresh with that get rid of that bit better all I do is go back back about half inch and then I go four and a half inch obviously don't put too much tape on otherwise I can't get it back in the hole but that's it that's it all taped up pull it off push it up nice and tight And basically now obviously this is a lot longer so I use this end to help me pull the worst bit in like that it's a bit of a wriggle to get it in there but that's it it's in there now I need all this cable to disappear up through there as well to get a nice nice fit in I'm still going to have to use the pull down. Now I'll get the motor in. And all the time I'm trying not to catch the uh, the actual cable. And I want this to be nice and tight fitting. So it's that the cable. So nothing can get caught when you're on a ride. You know, if I decide I'm going to go across a field or whatever. The last thing I want is someone pushing on me. So I'll give it a tiny little tug, not too much of one, but there you go. Now I'm happy with that. So that's the motor side back in. Basically I've got to do something with all this cable. Somehow I'll get it back in there, but I can use the plug holes here to actually pull some of the cable back up to push it in the right direction. Once it's going in the right direction, back up the frame, she's sound. But what I'm going to do for a minute is concentrate on getting this all bolted in position so you guys can see how I do it. <clears throat> I've got to remove my shirt because I'm getting a bit warm. But yeah, straightforward enough. The bolts they give me, I will use because I don't need any longer. Like I say, it's a actual perfect fit on here which is good that one will go there and that one will go on there
Okay. Just hang for a minute. So I've got to sort my dog out. Have a biscuit. I decided to sit there and strip a piece of rope. And it was annoying me. No bugger. <clears throat> Bite that instead. That don't make no noise. Continuing on, so I've now fashioned myself a little nut, and as you can see, I'm using a 6nm torque. Now, this will be a bit of a wriggle getting it in, just purely because they usually are. So, I'm guessing it will be, but you never know, it might just go straight in. Yeah, he's going to go straight in. You don't usually get that either. What I did is I uh, shortened the bolt because the bolt didn't need to be as long. Is that bit done? Now what I'm going to do is do up the two side bolts, side, not the sides. Again, using six nm. I'm not sure what, what or if these guys should be torqued. So just for safety's sake, I'm going to do them up evenly with this. And if I, I'll find out later and see if there is any torques for it. But I'm really not sure about that. Now I can do up the main motor, and that is where the motor will sit. Now there's loads of ways you can do these up. A lot of people have got the socket. I've never ever, ever bothered buying the socket purely because just purely because I always get on alright with the spanner. As you can see it's a bit tedious. It's better if you're doing it there where I've got more room. But you want to be careful. You don't want to hit no cables and all sorts of stuff like that so get as much much stuff out of the way as you can as you can see um, it's in line with the bolt so it makes it a bit harder now this does have a torque setting but what that torque setting is I wouldn't have the foggiest but just make sure you're in on all four because if you're not, it's going to hurt if you slip. So I'm basically there now and everything is solid. But there is a little thing I do do, which I'll show you, making sure I'm still on all four of them. If I can find it.
No, I can't find it. I usually give them a tap with a rubber mallet here just to make sure. Because these spanners are great, but they're quite sharp on your hands. What I'll do is I'll get a, get a bit of rag or something just to put around it. I don't know what I've done with my mallet. There you go. So there you go. I'm not going to get that any tighter than that anyway. So putting on the lock. One what makes it all look nice and tidy. I mean, since I've been doing these, I've only ever had one come loose and that is where I didn't put full pressure on it. It's just been a bit careful with it. There you go. So that's it. So that is the motor installed. As simple as that. So I just got to have a little play with the cable down the bottom. Sort out of how I'm going to wire all this, but all my wiring from there to there is all in nice which I'm quite happy about. I've got, I'll do a bit of sealing here. I'll do that by hand and obviously down there. But yeah, so pretty good. Pretty happy with that. It's all solid in there. And uh, oh yeah, I was saying about the uh, special part I had to buy from Lecky. So here it is, as you can see, it's all made by Lecky. And basically what it is, this will go on here, like that, and it'll even up where my pedals go. But this side always clears anyway, and now that side will. So if I take it off, you can see it just and just touches my frame here. So it just needs that little bit to come out. You know, it does send it out a bit too far really, but it is 20 mil exactly because, because I couldn't buy this motor in 120 mil. So it will be exactly the same. Once it's all bolted up, this will go in a fair old way. All that will. So yeah, quite happy with it. And this side should be clear anyway. Yeah, it is. And it's about the same gap. It'll be about the same. It should be the same gap from all the other bikes I've done in the past. But yeah, so simple enough piece of kit. But basically, I can't fit this till I'm ready to fit the pedals and everything because I'll torque it on and then it'll stay on there then. Because, ba well, basically, there won't be no reason to take it off once it's on there so I'll be quite happy with it so anyway stay safe out there and get out and ride